Okay, so you want to put 2208s in your FlashForge Guider 2 3D printer. Disclaimer, my terrible attitude should not be held against or come off as truth in regards to FlashForge 3D printers. I am known to have an awful attitude 58% of the time, so please make it a point to keep that in mind. Click yourself over to digikey.com and type in TMC2208 Silent Step Stick, or just click on the link in the description. Up to you. Next thing you're going to want to do is go over to Amazon and pick up this 60-piece mini heatsink kit. You're only going to use four of them, but ah, what the heck, you'll use them on other projects. If you already have a soldering iron, skip this part. If you need one in a pinch, just go to Walmart and grab the cheap $5 iron with $2 roll of solder or the little tube with the little coil inside. It works just fine. Oh, I forgot. Those of you in Europe or the UK or whatnot there, it's solder. My apologies. Since you'll be at Walmart sometime during the week for something, go ahead and grab yourself not only the soldering iron, but an extra pair of pliers that have grippy teeth on them. Nice, nice teeth, you know? Everyone likes nice teeth. You want to grab those because you're going to have to be pulling connectors off a motherboard, FFS. So I was a big dummy and thought that these didn't come with headers or header pins, as you see here. Well, they do, so <laughs> I have double of everything. Don't buy headers. Okay, for example, here is the stepper driver version 2.1 that comes out of the Flash Forge Guider 2. That's the stock stepper driver versus the one, the 2208, that we're going to upgrade to. Now, the whole reason behind this video is that it's not a plug and play for the Flash Forge Guider 2. You have to buy stepper drivers without the headers in so you can solder them in backwards. What I mean by that is in this next example is that you can see you have to flip the chip around and solder the headers in that way. One thing you got to pay attention to when putting in the headers for the stepper drivers is that you want to make sure they're not outside the chip or inside like this. You want to make sure they're tacked down square to the chip perpendicular if you will. Let me be clear. Make sure that you solder in the headers to the chip like this. Like I said before, you have to solder these in upside down where the top is on the bottom. So this is how you start your first row of headers. Just solder them in like this and it'll be the same on the other side. All right, so here's the other side tacked in. Make sure everything's nice and square, just like this photo. You don't want any of the headers bent out or bent in or anything like that. Make sure they're square. This is what your chip should look like when you're done soldering in the headers. Now's the time to grab one of your heat sinks with the little tube of thermal glue that came with the, the whole package. And what you want to do is you want to put a little tiny dab on the heat sink. Just a tiny one. It really doesn't have to be that much. Now take the little heat sink and place it directly in the center of that little chip right there. Yes, it's supposed to go on the other side, technically, but a lot of guys on Reddit and other places I've looked, they say, just put it right on the chip, and it worked for me, so that's what I did. One last thing to note about this is to keep it away from any other components. Like, you might be getting close to some of the components on the left side and the right. Just make sure it's square and you see that it's not going to potentially come into contact with any components on the board or the header pins. Congratulations, now you just have to do this three more times. In all seriousness though, this is not that bad at all. It's actually kind of fun. It's just, I guess I'm exasperated from, <laughs> after looking all this stuff up and yeah, uh, whatever. So nobody cares. All right guys, so we've got everything soldered in, the header soldered in, all the little heat sinks placed and they're all cured. And I just want to show you that this is the positioning that you want to put them in your printer. You want the little pot adjustment here to be at the top on these three guys and you want this on the left hand side. Now let's go in and talk about what you have to do here both flipping these connectors around and also tuning up the pots to the voltage. Right off the bat I tune these to 0.85 volts and we'll get into that here in a second but these are the connectors I'm talking about where you have to pull them out and you have to reverse them so you have to disconnect all these connectors there's only three of them you also have to take this out of the way here if you hadn't moved your motherboard before like unscrewed it and put a new one in but you want to pull these out and then you want to take your pliers and pull these connectors some say they're glued down so you may be in trouble and you may have to cut them off and just put them on without the connector that may be a crazy idea but what i did was i pulled all these out and i took my pliers and pulled the plastic outside connector off realigned the holes spinning the connector around put it back on and then reconnected these and that will make it so your x y and z motors actually go the correct way they'll be reverse when you put these in so everything's upside down and backwards with this whole upgrade by the way what the hell is wrong with you i'm i'm really 
Okay, now that we have the stepper motors reversed via the connector and we have our stepper motor drivers inserted into the motherboard, now we've got to tune the voltage. I went with 0.85 volts for the stepper drivers because all the research I did, anyone using a Flash Forge Guider 2 was right around 1 volt to 0.9 volts. So I'm like, well, if it's going to work at a couple notches below, then I'm going to be safe and set it there. So that's what I did. So I'm going to direct you over to the wiki. I would recommend reading this and actually understanding. There's a lot of good videos out there on how to tune the voltage on these 2208s. Shut up! Just shut up, you idiot! <clears throat> yes, yes. Anyways, go ahead, do yourself a favor, read the wiki. I'll include some videos to the stepper driver tune-up of the voltage. Keep in mind that uh, turning the voltage down on these are going to be clockwise because the chip is reversed and all that good stuff. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All right, you guys have a great holiday.